Hey y'all, it's Alicia and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop. And I want to say thank you so much for being patient with me during the last week. I have not been on, as you know. I have been watching videos, just not commenting um, and not doing any video making. And I, my husband has been taking in all the mail, which has been amazing. You can see I have something very special to share with you. It's a really special surprise from Lisa Douglas. What's really funny is that the boxes that besides Natasha's that I've been working on um, to get out, there's, a, there's three boxes I've been working on to get out and while I've been really sick. And one of them is for Lisa Douglas, one of them is for Kathy, and one of them is for Soleil. And I received a big box from Kathy and a big box from Lisa Douglas. So I cracked up laughing because I was like, wow, we're, we seem to be on the same page because I've been working on the same things. Um, first, you know, I wasn't gonna come on and share with you everything just because I think all of you manage so many things. I think I'm not the only person living with a chronic illness. I'm not the only person who has a struggle. I think everyone's affected by COVID and I have said that so many times. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom trying to homeschool or a grandma trying to homeschool. I, I don't know if you guys have seen the show Connecting, but it's really funny. If you haven't watched it, watch it. There's only three episodes up right now, but it's funny. It's about a group of friends that come on and they chat like we do. And basically one of the parents is losing his mind because of his kids. And I think about all of you. So I wasn't gonna come on and share. But yesterday, Heather made a really interesting point, which is that one, not everyone has access to medical care right now. Um, Pat, as you all know, has been locked in her apartment since her birthday. That's almost a year. And so she, her rheumatologists, unlike mine, <laughs> uh, are not checking on her regularly, are not forcing her for all sorts of tests and procedures. And it might be helpful especially in light of what we learned from Lisa Pate and her blood clot and other things to share what's going on. So Heather said, you know, Alicia, not everyone can afford to go to the doctor. Not everybody has a doctor like yours. It might be helpful. Maybe one person will be helped with your information. So I kept thought about that overnight and thought a lot about what Heather said, because I also don't want to be Debbie Downer, one, and because that's not my attitude. Y'all know that, you know, I'm going to fight this illness to my last breath, uh, you know, and I hope to win sometimes. And the other reason is I know you're all living with stuff, you know, whether it's homeschooling or a chronic illness like me. But I don't, if I thought about what Heather said and what if what I share helps one person, one person who can't go to the doctor, then that's worth it. So um, here's what happens when you have a chronic illness and things go wrong. You go in for one test, you go in for procedures like this and it leads to 20 more because then the results come back and they find that there's a number of things wrong and they start to worry. So they start to spider web out, we call it, where they think, well, if this is happening. So y'all, I'm gonna show something with you. Do you see this? This is from scleroderma. That's something called a vasal or a vascular bleed. So I have them all over my hands. I thought the thing was from my mask. It's not, it's a vascular bleed. That's a vascular bleed. The one on my leg is a vascular bleed. So basically what it means is my face my hands and my legs suddenly bleed for no reason. And I, I just found it embarrassing. You can imagine, right? I've been in the DT, literally, where the manager has been like, Alicia, your face is bleeding. And I really thought it was the mask. Because if you all remember, a year ago, I broke my nose here in like three places. And I thought the mask bridge was bothering my nose break, which by the way, is not fully healed. So because of my osteoporosis. So I, I just figured that's what it was, no. It turns out when they did all of these that I, my vascular disease is so active that I'm combustible bleeding all over my body. So that's kind of serious. So that necessitated more procedures, more tests, more doctors. And then from those visits, they found other things wrong. So this last week has been really exhausting because we thought it was just an endocrine problem. We thought it was just my thyroid flip-flopping and maybe I had a stroke again, which now they're pretty sure I did. And maybe my illness is out of control and we have to give me more chemo. We didn't expect to have all these crazy vasal bleeds and like all the stuff they found from this. And so now, like yesterday, to give you an example, we spent probably six hours coordinating with doctors. That's not an exaggeration. So I do have great doctors. They will not let this go. Um, that's the upside. The downside is I am exhausted, y'all. Uh, my entire last five days has been taken up with fighting infection, fever, medical appointments, doctors, 
tests, procedures, and I'm not done. I'm not done. There is a list this long for this month. So I want to share that with you because I know we have someone else in our community. Um, you know, Tiffany has been going through a very hard month with something very similar. Not, I'm not saying it's autoimmune. They don't know what it is, but where she is constantly being poked and prodded and procedured. And um, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers because I know what that feels like. And so does Soleil. And I'm sure anyone with autoimmune, Belinda knows what that feels like. Bonnie knows what that feels like as her sister deals with it all the time. So I just want to be transparent because maybe I can help one of you. Um, if you're having a problem like this, don't dismiss it like I did. Don't think this is just a cut on your face. Don't leave it alone because it can be something much more serious. Just like we learned with Lisa Pate and now I'm sharing with you. This little bleeding face thing and the bleeding fingers is actually something really serious. And I just thought, oh well, I kept cutting myself or oh well, I'm just bleeding. And actually, you know, it was something... It's something far more dangerous for your whole system. So I'm sharing that because if things like that are happening to you, I know in New York you can get free medical service. It's a, it's a treat state. And I know other states aren't. I know Florida isn't. You know, there's always gonna be that medical bill that you're gonna have to pay. But I worry that because finances are so tough during COVID, that so many medical things are being ignored, including by people like me. I'm, I don't wanna go because of COVID, right? I have insurance. I don't want to go because of COVID. Other people can't, aren't going because they can't afford to. And I worry that I'm not the only one who's going to have big medical problems because of that. So I'm being as transparent as I can be today because I want to help. I don't want you in Lisa Pate's position or mine. I don't. If something is really strange happening with your body, check it out. And if you have doctors like Pat's doctors that don't check on you and don't insist on these things, when this is all done, find a new doctor because you know I will say one thing for my medical team they are not letting this go like I, I have been begging because they're sending me to two places for procedures that are in the hottest red zones of COVID in Florida and I don't want to go and they're making me go so because it's in my best interest overall even with COVID so I want to share that I hope it helps somebody if you're having weird weird symptoms don't just let it go don't dismiss it don't think it's just something normal it may not be and try to find a doctor who will let you pay the bill off. I know that the one doctor I see has lots of patients who can't afford to pay right now and she's letting them pay it off. So at least investigate if someone in your area will look at you and let you pay that bill down. If it's $80, will they let you pay $10 a month? You know? All right, y'all. There's my transparent. So that's why I haven't been on. I've either been having a procedure done, a test done, or I've been at the doctor or sleeping. Yesterday, uh, after everything was done, my husband actually pushed me out of the house for the first time. I drove for the first time yesterday um, since all the procedures and I went and got a, co a treat coffee and I went to the Dollar Tree because he was just worried I hadn't had a break. And he was just like, I don't care where you go, just go somewhere so that, you know, um, you get a mental break. So I went out for an hour, which was really nice. But that was probably my only hour this week. So y'all, um, I'm excited to be back. Just be patient with me. I have a lot to catch up on and I'm going to do my best. I don't have as much time right now because they have booked me in. I have another procedure Friday. So like they have scheduled me a whole month's worth of tests, procedures, treatments. Um, so just be patient. That's what I'm asking for. All right. So without further ado, Lisa Douglas, I don't, I have to email you today. I don't know what to say to you. Y'all, this was unbelievable. This was unbelievable. So a big Amazon box came while I was very sick. And my husband took in all the mail. And he just figured I ordered something from Amazon, but I hadn't. So when he said to me, what'd you get from Amazon? I said, I didn't get anything from Amazon. And he's like, well, you got a big Amazon box there. Guess what's in the Amazon box? A laminator. And not just a laminator, y'all. It's the thermal laminator, like the one I have in New York for my books and my library pockets but guess what oh my goodness it's so heavy Lisa it's so heavy it's so heavy um she ordered me the really good laminating pouches like the good ones the eight and a half by ten thick laminating pouches these are the really good quality and she ordered me a hundred that's why it's so heavy a hundred there's a hundred you know how many books I can make with that that's a lot it's a lot of library pockets it's really exciting um but this was a super generous birthday gift oh my goodness y'all um, thank you, Lisa. I have to tell you, it's, it's really is funny that I got a big box from you and a big box from Kathy. 
and that's I've been working on your boxes well I've been sick so um, I'm excited to say that they're almost finished so I, they're gonna be going out which is great but that's amazing that we had this crossover right it's really amazing my husband forgot I was making a video and he's watching the news and he keeps forgetting um, a big thank you to Lisa Douglas y'all she's been super supportive this was an incredibly generous gift incredibly generous and I just want to say thank you um, and hopefully you'll like what I put together for your birthday I hope so y'all that is my news for today I'm gonna try to do a video a day bear with me if I can't it just means I'm too exhausted from the procedures and a big thank you to all of you all right take real good care bye for now